Uh, okay, so we're starting the thrift day by um, going to the doctor's with Daniel because he has an appointment. I just figured I'd wait here because I, like, I could probably make it to the thrift store for opening, but there's probably no point in me leaving um, because I feel like, well, because, well, mainly because I don't want, like, I don't know how long Daniel's appointment's going to be. And then I hate, like myself, I hate waiting at the doctor's office for so long. So if I'm all the way, like 20 minutes away, and then he texts me that he's done, by the time I get here, it'd probably be like half an hour, which, you know, I hate waiting myself. So just might as well just wait here and film for you guys. Could go through Daniel's bag again. <laughs> he has a banana. Damn, it's a big banana. And then he has a chocolate muffin over there. <laughs> Anywho. I don't know if my mood has been better or I don't think it's worse, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel just, yeah, like just empty. And it's kind of like, <laughs> that's my answer. It's kind of like that. This is one of my biggest pet peeves is when like putting water in a pop bottle. I, I don't know, something about that triggers me because I remember as a kid, I think my mom or my grandma used to do that. And I would just like, it would just be so wrong to me. I'd be like, why is there water in a pop bottle? Pop has been sitting in that bottle for like months or years. And then the and then it's always the water has like a taste of pop. So I think that's why I'm like scarred about it. <clears throat> Just kidding. Oh, yeah, I will. Here we go, let's start over. He's probably pissed that I beat him for the new racks, too. Good. I was actually gonna help you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where are you? And I'm fighting all these people off. Nothing hmm. special, but a few little sweaters. Cool. Hey, your birthday here. That's when I was born. <laughs> and this took place in the month I was born, too, if it's November. Nice. So. How do you feel it. after your altercation? I had my first altercation. <laughs> it was awkward. It was so awkward. I'm probably red right now because I'm just like, I thought you were kidding. I was like, no, I'm the literally. Yeah. Came up to me. He's following me around the store too. Like, so weird. We'll talk about it on video. Hi guys, I just punched somebody in the face at Valley Village. <laughs> no. I think we need to settle this talk with like a Doctor Phil kind of talk. You need to like, Daniel, what happened on this very day at this very hour? What did happen? What happened? Okay, let's get to the story, guys. So, we were already at this location that we went to, this Valley Village. We decided to come back, whatever. Um, maybe like, what, 20 minutes in between? Who cares? So, Ashley's eating Taco Bell in the car. Vegan. Shh. Vegan Taco Bell. <laughs> and I decided to go in, like I usually do. She usually sits in the car for a minute. I'm going in, I'm walking around. There's some younger kids around, whatever. Teenagers buying the clothing and all that. And then, I'm looking around, and this kid is like sort of following me like he looks like a reseller and he's like looking me up and down and he's following me now I'm like just walking around looking at the clothing and he follows me all the way to the back end of clothing and he gets on the other aisle he doesn't come down my same aisle and um he he's like you're Daniel right and I'm like like first of all I was like oh, I didn't even want to say I was it's just sort of weird it just felt off you know I said yes and he's like and I'm, oh, and then right after, right after I said yes, and I'm like, hang on, there's a wasp. Oh. Okay, oh. okay. Out. It's out. out. It's out. He's out. in. <laughs> He's right there. Give me the bag. The bag. Give me the bag. <laughs> He's in. Oh 
I shouldn't laugh because Close our windows. Close it, okay. Close them all. Holy moly, you probably saw me running behind the car. <laughs> it's like, Woo that guy must have bit my ankle. Where were we? <laughs> the story. Um so I right after he I said yes. I'm like, what's your profile called? Because I thought, you know, Reese I was and he's like, uh, he was like thinking, he's like looking around, his eyes are just looking around, he's like He's like, oh, I don't have one. I'm like, I'm like, okay. I'm like, do you resell? And he's like, uh, no. I'm like, bro, you look like a resell. You're looking after all the new he was a racks. Reseller. And he's following these racks. So I'm still shopping. Another new rack comes out. I go to it. He's behind me. I look through it and I get whatever. He, um, then approaches me again, but on another side of an aisle, like we're two aisles apart. And he's like, okay, can I ask you something? And I'm like, sure. And then everyone's beside me talking, I'm like, let me come to your aisle, I told him. I'm like, let me come around. And it's the aisle that I saw you in? Yes, I went around. He was on the other aisle. I'm like, let me come talk to you, guys. And he's like, and he's starting to talk. And his first thing out of his mouth is like, so you're the guy that left me a one-star review on Marketplace like a year ago, calling me a clown. And I'm like, what? I'm like, a year ago. I'm like, what? I don't rem I don't know who you are. I, I, you're not telling me. I don't know who you are. And then he brings up this item. And he says, M M what is it? Marlboro fleece sweater? I'm like, I don't rem I'm trying to remember. I'm like, I probably have because I buy lots of them. I'm trying to remember. I'm like, oh. And then I'm like, pull this up. Like, show me whatever. He pulls up a list. And I'm like, I remember this. And I remember seeing this sweater. And then he reads me the review. And I said, don't deal with this seller. He takes more than his asking prices. He's Which a clown. Is true. Which is so true. So I'm like, Okay, there's your answer right there, man. I left you one star review because you took a higher, we were working on a deal or whatever, and it wasn't on hold, which was fine, but you took a higher offer than your listing price. I told him, and I'm like, that's why I left you the one star review. Marketplace isn't an auction site. And he's like stumbling and stuttering, and he can't, he's bringing up other conversations of people picking it up. I'm like, that's not the point, man. You're now confronting me. And I feel like he was lying because he said, First it was he took Well, a you weren't in offer. there yet. I call, I text Ashley. I'm like, come over here and see this. Like, this kid's actually... But you're saying that he took a higher offer, but inside he also said that he, he took the... He said someone messaged first before you. No. That was his reasoning. I after. wish I could bring up the messages, but I'm pretty sure I blocked them. I'm going to see if I can bring it up and I'll show you guys. Um, anyway, I walk in and I'm trying to find Daniel because he, he texts me and I'm eating my Taco Bell in the car. He's like, oh my God, someone's trying to fight me. I'm like... Is he trying to fight you literally, or is he trying to fight you with like, is he, like verbally, just, like, like the clothing? You know, but like, before the second interaction with him, I already had a sense. I texted Ashley, I'm like, this weird guy just asked me for my name. It was yeah. just, he was just really weird. So that I happened. Like, that is weird. So then, then, like a couple minutes later, he's like, this guy's trying to fight me. I'm like, and I'm already putting my my boxing gloves on. I'm going inside <laughs> for a second, like, then go around and I found a shirt and I was, I, I'm walking toward Daniel and the guy. They're like, <clears throat> like talking. Nice, like, like talking back and forth fast and i'm like okay but from far away i'm like okay they're probably like talking now and everything is fine no it was not fine this guy just could not get out of his head that daniel left him a one-star review and he kept saying this is not fair to small businesses yeah i'm like bro i'm a small business he's like but you're like the mcdonald's of small business i'm like what because i sell lots of stuff i'm like people leave me fake one stars all the time except i didn't leave you a fake one star review i left it on purpose because you did something stupid and i told him i only leave people stupid comments and stupid reviews if you do something stupid don't cross me this motherfucker la like held a grudge for a year i let ashley listen to the conversation he sounded crazy he did he felt like it almost like it's it's it sounded like you know when you break up with someone and they can't get over it that's what he sounded like it was insane i'm it like was. man like what do you want out of this i even offered to take down the re re review and he's like he you can't i'm like you can't i bet i'm like i probably have you blocked but then after that happened he said something condescending yeah you know? he said something he made a comment like this he's like well i always see your ad because i see your 80 dollar carhartt pants and i'm like whoa so somebody's taking a jab at my pricing now so he's, he's like you know i'm being specific he just had that tone of like snarky, you know. It's like that's why. And he like, and it and he didn't need to add the price. No. He could say, "I see you're you selling sweaters all the time, sweatshirts, this brand." No, he needed to add in the eighty. So you can tell he's holding some jealousy or grudge or something underneath. And I told him, "I don't remember who I leave once. I don't even know who you are. I talk to dozens of people a day. I tell lots of people off, and if they deserve it, there's very few times that I've been in the wrong where I've told people off on marketplace because it was my mistake." No, the he deserved it because yeah. what happened is it wasn't on hold. I'm like, if it's available in two or three days, I'll pick it up for this price. That day came, I think I was ready to pick it up. And he's like, I sold it for more than my listing price, which wasn't, it had nothing to do with our business, but the fact that he was treating market, I, I wish I could bring up the message, but I know he was treating it as an auction site. 
No, you don't do that. That's not how you function on Marketplace. And I will call you out and I will tell you a lot of choice words. Me calling you a clown is probably the nicest thing I could say. What's something not nice that you we could say, Ashley? There's a lot of things. Give us an example. <laughs> I've called people. I've called. I've called their kids ugly. <laughs> Ooh, that one hurts. That one hurts. I've called people. Yeah, I'm saying anything that's not racist or prejudiced. I'll use it. <laughs> it was very weird. So those are the things you got to worry about as a seller. And even though, even when we tried to walk away, and I was like, I was He's trying still to be, going. I was being devil's advocate, but obviously on Daniel's side, you know. But and and I made a lot of points where I was like, you know, defending Daniel because I I think he's right regardless. And the thing is, like, why is he anyway? We were trying to like walk away a few times to end the conversation, but the guy kept going, like bringing things up on his phone or saying something. He's like, look at all these messages. I'm like, I don't care. I don't care if the queen messaged you for the sweater. It's what you did. You do not be like whoever sends me a higher offer than my listing price. And he, he couldn't even answer it. I'm like, and that's why I called you stupid. That's why I called you a clown. That's why you got your one star. I'm like, what do you want to get out of this? I'm not mean to hate you. I don't even know who you are. I don't remember this, but you obviously do. So that's what happened. Very awkward. And he kept like, it almost seemed like he's been stalking Daniel for a while on Marketplace because he brought up like trolling. listings and he's trolling. He, like, it, it was weird. After his $80 car comment, I made a comment like, so you're probably one of the guys on a fake account controlling me for this last year. I don't think he liked that because I think <laughs> no. it's true. Anyways, I still don't know his name. I don't know his profile. Let me try to figure out. I want, cause I want to see the messages again. Yeah. But very awkward. But I gave it to him. I told him, I'm like, I'm glad you're confident enough to come up and I've never had somebody confront me. It's sort of cool. But I didn't admit I was wrong. I didn't say I'm sorry because I wasn't wrong. And even when you were it. trying to be like, okay, this is into this, he'll start talking and bring something up. Guys, okay, the last video was cut short because my phone overheated. It is super hot here today in Winnipeg. And it's like 28, 29 degrees, which is literally beach summer weather. Tomorrow is gonna be 30 degrees, so it's gonna be even hotter tomorrow. So I'm gonna wear my shorts tomorrow. Um, yeah, Daniel is inside there cohorting. fraternizing with my arch nemesis whatever <laughs> but um but yeah so it was kind of a slow day today didn't pick anything up i picked a few things up for my mom that she needed from the thrift store and then i got this little um this little beautiful estee lauder purse kind of thing which is funny because it's also where we got the other beautiful estee lauder perfume um, I paid $6 for that one. This one was $3. We sold the other one for $30, I think. So that was a good find. And then we didn't find anything all day. It was pretty much like a Daniel day. He got a bunch of stuff. Like, look at this. Come on. You guys need to buy from Daniel. Support our Daniel. Look how cute this looks for Christmas, right? Like, hello. It's a woman's large. Y'all saw Daniel's storage locker. We need to support him with some sales. We got what else we got? Um, I'm trying to think what else you guys might want. Oh, this is cute. Okay, fucking wasp central. This is cute. It has like reindeer all over it. This is a medium, could be a large too. Um, what else we got? We got oh, this is cute. This crew neck. That's a large. It says uh, Manitoba Special Olympics from 1992. That's really cute. And then you got this. Live to ride, ride to live, Harley shirt. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, you're not? Do you have any donations? I do, I have a lot in the trunk. Okay. Uh, is there a specific one I should grab? Mm, I'll come out. I'll wait. Okay. But uh, yeah, anyone I think. Sorry, Daniel needed donations. <sighs> okay, I need to tie my hair because it is hot AF. Whew. 
Okay, so, oh, sorry, okay. So Daniel got that spa, and then the only two things I picked up were the last stop of the day. I picked up this super cute coach for Disney. It was a little bit overpriced, but I love using these. Like, I use these all the time. I was using my Fendi one, and then I was using my uh, Michael Kors one. So I love these little kind of clay-like, is it a clay or is it like a, yeah, I think it's a clay. No, it's not a clay. But anyway, it's the coach one in the pebbled leather with the Mickey Mouse. That is so adorbs. Look at that. And I love that the, okay, you have like the card slots on the outside. One, two, three card slots on the outside. Then here it says like coach and then the inside has like the Creed. Usually these small SLGs don't have the Creed unless it's like a boutique piece. But I'm trying to figure out what it says. Um, this is a coach accessory handcrafted from the finest materials and created to something with the something at something of the something something with I can't read the rest it's so tiny this is from 2016 so it's a 2016 piece I love it there's like the only condition issue is a little bit of indentation on the plastic but other than that like I'm gonna moisturize her she'll be good to go and some tarnishing on the thing but it's not a big deal Look at that. So we got that. It was a bit expensive, $20, but I had an exchange to do, so that's fine. And then this is a coach wallet. I've actually seen this here multiple times, but I thought it was just nothing. And I thought, hey, I'll take a look at it. And it's a fucking coach wallet. <laughs> There's literally nowhere that says coach on it. It's like this patent leather. It has this turn lock closure on the front. Phenomenal. This definitely is not an outlet piece. Yeah, so very nice. Inside is like smooth leather. This is a great wallet. It reminds me of like Epi leather from Louis Vuitton. So, and we got that for nine dollars and twenty nine cents, motherfucker. And that's all that we got. It's very minimal. Very welfare. Very. I need to haul my ass to the food bank. Very. I need to apply for food stamps. That's what kind of day this was, okay? Anywho. It was kind of funny, I was at Starbucks and I ordered my brown sugar oat chicken espresso but the welfare version for $4. Totally fucked it up. So literally my drink was this much. I don't know what, I, I know I clicked something that I wasn't supposed to. I just thought it was something else, but in, in retrospect, it was something I wasn't supposed to click. And then I had a free bakery item, but it wasn't on my regular account, it was on my bot account. So then when I ordered it, I asked Daniel, I didn't want to eat yet. So I offered, like I gave Daniel whatever it was. I asked him what he wanted. He didn't want the ham and Swiss croissant. He doesn't like croissants. I didn't know he didn't like croissants. So we ended up getting the cheapest thing that was available. If it's free, he should be getting the most expensive thing. That's how life works. Anyway, he got the bagel and cream cheese. Oh, what you know. Um, but anyway, um, so I go to the, to the thing. I'm like, yeah, I have a pickup order for Ashley. They're like, okay. We can't find any Ashley here. I'm like, well, the order's on my phone. And I literally have a different name on there. I forgot I used my middle name, which is Mia. So, um, yeah, she's like, oh, it says Mia. I'm like, oh my God, I'm sorry. That's my middle name. I used my middle name on that account. He's like, okay. Anyway, so I paid only $4 for a brown sugar with chicken espresso and a bagel with cream cheese because that one was free. But we didn't want to eat yet. So I ate later. I had like Taco Bell, which isn't the healthiest, but I'm full AF. Oh, yeah. Anyway, hopefully tomorrow will be a little bit more productive. Um, we will be doing our regular route and I hope we found some good shit because I'm actually in a kind of cleansing mode. I'm kind of, tr I'm trying to um, reorganize my entire apartment. I gotta get shit out. I'm gonna give a lot of shit to Daniel for free because we homies. 
and just things that have been sitting, things I don't want to be bothered with, things that are just stressing me out because they've been sitting for so long. I'm going to hightail it over to Daniel's and he can have it and he can sell it and make money. And so I'm really, really, really picky with what I pick up now. Like, I'm super picky. Like, unless it's a super good deal, um, some an item that's super cheap but resells for super expensive, I ain't picking it up. And yeah, I just returned that Michael Kors dirty bag. I don't think yet, I don't think I uploaded that video. I think I forgot about it, but I thrifted this Michael Kors bag for 30 bucks and it was a really nice bag, but it was so dirty inside. And I tried cleaning it out, but it, like it's still, I got it clean, er, but not clean enough for me to warrant selling it for like 50, $60. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.